Good afternoon guys, it's Maria. I have the windows open right now so um, we have some nice lighting in the craft room. I got this candle holder from Bath and Body Works. And as you can see, it's very cute. It looks like a cake stand with like a little dome. I got these tea lights just last um, December when I went home. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get different colors at the Dollar Tree. So I thought at first this was actually displayed um, in my living room and I just had it like this and I thought you know it needed something I need to alter the tea lights so it would look like a cake and this is what I came up with and I put some wild orchid flowers over there and some lace and the pearl trim and made it look like shabby chic and it actually looks like a small little cupcake and then of course when you have it lit at night it's so cute so I'm kind of in this phase right now where I really like shabby chic and um, I thought I'll make some shabby chic project and alter some things since this cupcake stand is really cute so if you haven't visited Bath and Body Works you need to do so because I'm pretty sure they still have this hopefully and you can get some so I'm gonna put this aside we will need of course our lace trim our flat back pearl trim our cute little flameless tea light that you can get from the Dollar Tree and of course if you have this if you don't then you can just go to like Target and get like a cake stand a small cake stand or a cupcake stand like this and then what you need to do is get one of those plastic wine glasses and cut the stem out and then just put like a flower on top to look like to look like this if you can't find this anymore at Bath and Body Works. We will need our glue gun for this, of course. So I already pre-cut my lace and my flat back pearl. And of course, I have um, cut the flowers. I got these flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts and it comes in a bundle like this. And then since I don't really want to glue anything on top of the tea light, we will just use mini glue dots from Stampin' Up to attach the little flowers on top so I can reuse it for something else if I don't like the way it looks anymore. I'm just gonna put that there because that's our inspiration. I have my glue gun going here so all we have to do is attach the lace first and that's what we're gonna do. I have my glue gun going over here and I'm just going to put some glue. And like so. And then if you don't want this to overlap, you can just cut that piece, but I don't really mind. So I'm just going to put enough glue there, just a little bit to just close it. And, that's, and then the second thing that we need is our flat back pearl. And there you go, now it kind of looks like a cake. And then what you need to do is get your small little flowers like so and just get your mini glue dots if you don't want to adhere your flowers permanently to your tea light and just stagger them. I'm only using three. And there you have it. Your altered tea light. So cute. And cute and cheap. You can put it in your little home. It's a cute, shabby, chic home decor. These are my altered tea light, shabby, chic style. 
a cute little decor. And then I also wanted to show you this Christmas shabby chic ornament. It's actually not a Christmas ornament. You can use this all year round because it's pink. I colored this with a, with a glass paint. I colored it pink because it used to look like this. So I colored it pink and then I just use a nice um, ribbon over there and then use one of my wild orchid flowers again to make it look more shabby chic and since I'm um, preparing my craft room right now so I could give you guys a room tour I'm actually making some altering some decorations so that um, I can decorate my craft space and then I will be able to show you guys a craft room tour in the next um, few days so I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, leave a comment if you like this and if you want to see more um, like this in the future some altered things then please leave me a comment and I will see you on my next project bye for now